Are you tired of crappy spheres? Well boy do I have the video for you. Today I'm going to introduce you to three different ways to make a sphere in Blender. So a quick disclaimer, there is no actual perfect sphere. That's more clickbait than anything. Different spheres work better for different applications. When I say perfect sphere, I'm talking about one that is, in my opinion, the most well-rounded for tackling issues. If you want to skip to the perfect sphere, there'll be a timestamp displayed on the screen that you can skip to. Let's not waste another second. So this first sphere we have is the UV sphere. This is the most commonly used sphere and can be created relatively easily. Just going to the add menu and selecting UV sphere creates one for us. Now we can change a number of parameters. For instance, segments, which changes the amount of vertical lines, rings, which changes the amount of horizontal lines, and radius, which changes the radius of the sphere. The main issue with this sphere is their distortion near the poles. On the top and bottom, the vertices all converge into a single point, which can cause pinching at the poles of your textures. Overall, it's not a bad sphere to use, however, there are some downsides. The next sphere we have is the Icosphere. This sphere is used much less than the UV sphere, mostly because it's very different from it. Instead of having quads, it uses triangles as faces. It's pretty easy to add. You go to the Add menu and you will find an option for Icosphere. The Icosphere has its vertices much more distributed than the UV sphere, however you don't have much control over the resolution. You can change the subdivision, however it's rather finicky and you don't always get the precise resolution you want. It also uses triangles, and for some applications, such as character modeling, triangles are not an option. You may f find this useful for niche applications, and it's good to have under your belt regardless. The final sphere, the so-called perfect sphere, is created using a subdivision cube method. Just add the cube into your scene, add a subdivision modifier to it. You can change the resolution to whatever you want, but you should probably keep it at at least 3. You may notice it doesn't quite look like a sphere, it's more of a cube with uh, extremely rounded edges. So we need to add another modifier to mold it into the sphere shape. The cast modifier is a great tool to do just that. We add it after the subsurf modifier and set the factor to 1. The main advantage of using this is the spheres or faces are all quads and unlike the UV sphere there's no pinching at the poles. There's a little pinching in various places around the sphere but it's largely unnoticeable. And that's three ways to make a sphere in Blender. Hope you gained some useful information out of this, and wish you the luck in your future blendering. Expect more content tune, I really want to get this channel to grow, I just never have any ideas. I've literally resorted to asking GPD-2 for ideas. Anyway, have a good day, happy blendering.